Okay, so what I've got here is a paddle board by a company called Furian, and they asked me to check out this product, let them know what I think, and so I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and we'll take a look and see what it looks like. From what I saw on their webpage, it's, they've got really good products, and so I'm excited to see what we've got here in the box. Okay, I'm back. My daughter needed me to get her a bowl of cereal, and at the same time I thought, oh, I might as well put on this new Survivor Father's Day shirt I got. My wife had that made for me, out wit, out play, out dad. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and get this open. So this is about an 11 foot paddle board, if I remember correctly. It also doubles as a kayak. I'm hoping to get out to the lake next week to give this an actual test drive. Okay, and so this is my first look at anything in this box, and so forgive me if I'm not super familiar with the different pieces. Looks like we've got the, the seat here that we'll be able to strap on for that. The kayak mode, it's got a, a real good feel, already good padding, and it feels like the materials are going to last, so happy about that. Looks like all the straps are good and sturdy. I do, I have done quite a bit of kayaking. I don't do a lot of, haven't previously done a lot of paddle boarding, and so I'm not an expert in that area, but yeah, I know one of the big problems, one of the things that I don't like about the kayaks I've used is if the seat gets out of position and you're constantly having to play with that. So it looks like this is a good, good quality seat that I'm not gonna have to deal with that. And it looks like we've got the carrying bag here. If I remember correctly, like I said with everything in here, the, the weight is about 26 pounds. So yeah, nice, nice heavy duty bag for all your carrying purposes. And once again, the, the brand there is Spreein. I'm gonna put the links and everything in the description, so if you guys wanna go check them out, also there will be a, pr a promo code that I think it'll give you 10% off. The details will be in the video's description on all of that. Uh, we've got a little ankle strap here, so if you fall off, you won't lose your board. And this also feels very heavy duty, so I'm not worried that this is gonna fall apart anytime soon. So, really nice cable there, and this will clip onto the board somewhere. And this is an inflatable one, so we got the we got the nice full size pump here. And this is no joke. This is way bigger and more heavy duty than ones that I've used previously. I have owned an inflatable kayak that is kind of a pain to get inflated, so I'm excited to see a pump that looks like it's going to really get the job done. And we've got an inflate and a deflate. I was wondering if it was going to be one that inflates with both directions. It feels like it just inflates as you push down. But it does have a a pressure gauge here, so that'll be nice to let me know when I'm in the, the range. It's got some green on there to let me know when I'm in a good range. Yellow saying it's got too much and the red pressure is too high. Uh, got the paddle here. So I've slid that up and that puts the pins out of the way and then it looks like I can put this on. You have to forgive me, I haven't looked at the instructions, I'm just kind of doing this to see how intuitive everything is. Then I can go like this and put that in so I've got my, my kayaking position there. Looks like it's a real strong material and so I'm not worried about that breaking either. Got the fin for the bottom of the, the board. 
Got our repair kit. Looks like it's got this tube here, so it'll de decrease the, the chances of that sinking if it drops off. Let's hope we never need to use the repair kit, but there it is in case. We've got the, the main event here, the actual paddle board. A couple more fins to, for stability on that. Looks like we've got the main one and a couple of secondary ones. That's come with instructions, and so if I wanted to, to start there, I could have, but we'll go this route. And yeah, so this is the kayak one, and then if I looked at that a little bit more, it's got the different holes for the, the different ways to adjust that. We've got a visitor here. There's, there's my little girl. I'll go help her for a bit. Okay, we've got her happy. Let's go ahead and get this out and take a look at what we've got. Okay, let's go ahead and get an idea of how, how much muscle this takes, how much time it takes to pump this thing up. And once again, the material is really thick. We've got kind of a, it almost feels like a fabric-y material here that'll keep you from slipping around on it. Got a hand pulled there. Okay, and that just kind of screws into place there. See how intuitive this is. I actually really like the feel of this pump, the one that I had on my inflatable kayak. You really had to muscle. This one feels like it's doing most of the work for me. And it also is a, it's up high, so I don't feel like I'm bending way down and have a tired back by the time I'm done. Lift it up, and then push it down. Okay, can I try? Thank you. It does look like it's gonna take quite a bit of pumping to get this all the way full, but that's, that's not a surprise. It's a like I said, it's like an 11 or 12 foot board, and it's about, it's more than three feet wide. I can't remember. It looks like it's about four feet wide. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just looking. It says the pressure should be to 15 to 18 PSI, and I'm just getting to where it's starting to register on the green part of the gauge. Okay, now that I'm actually putting some pressure into it. It is taking a little bit more muscle, but it's still, a, it feels like it's a nice smooth motion on the pump. Hey, go down. She's giving it a nice, nice test to show how solid it's gonna be. Yeah, so this is starting to take quite a, bit, quite a bit of muscle to get down, so I would recommend when you do this at the beach to do it in the shade. Yeah, we're only at 9 PSI and it's already feeling very solid, so it's a good sign. Yeah, I'm very impressed with how sturdy this feels already. And it's only at 10 PSI. Okay, so we are about there. That's nice. I unhooked the valve and it immediately just seals itself off. It must have one of those. I can't remember what kind of valve that is. Then we've got the valve screws in place. Inflate, twist, and lock the valve. Okay, we're good. And then, yeah. That's it, it's good and solid. See how it feels when I pick it up. Oh, it feels, <laughs> looks like it's gonna weigh a bunch, but it actually is quite light. It's a little, the large size makes it a little bit awkward, but the actual weight is not bad. And so once you get that down in the water, it's gonna go real nice and smooth. Give you an idea of the size. Yeah, like I said, I'm planning to get out to the lake next week and give this a try. Looks like it's going to work real well. And it looks like she's going to enjoy it as, 
as much as I am. Go ahead and check out the promo code in the video's description. It gets you 10% off. This one goes for, I think, about $550 when it's, when it's a regular price. So the brand is free in. If you have any questions, let me know or go check out their website. Okay, so I just thought I'll probably get how this works. So you just, it's got a little clip on here that you just push up out of the way. And then you can slide this in. It's got all these different holes so you can adjust the height. The max height is probably about seven or eight feet long. That's the minimum size right there. Looks like about six feet. Yeah, there you go. And I'm going to go ahead and just see if I can quickly figure out how this seat goes in. Looks like it's just got some clips here and some D rings on the side. So it can be too bad to get it into place if, I, if I'm supposed to do it like I'm expecting. Yeah, so it looks like that's how the seat goes in place. Haven't checked the instructions to verify, but it feels pretty sturdy. And it looks like it'll do the job. It, it's in there and it supports a lot of weight. Look out for the waves. Look out for the waves. I hope you'll go check out Freeian. Go check out their, their webpage. The link will be in the video description. Use the promo code for 10% off. And for those of you that this was the face reveal, I, you're welcome or you're sorry, depending on your take on that. Take care.
Taylor, do you love it? I love it. Is it your favorite? I am coming. All right, have fun on your adventure. to make sure you don't slip on that surface. You ready? <laughs> oh, how high should we go? Feels pretty good, huh? See, it's comfortable. I'm going to go ahead and pack it up, see how that goes. Yep, there we go. Looks pretty good. It actually feels pretty comfortable. It's it's not light, but it's the bag, the straps are wide enough that it makes it fairly comfortable to carry. And the bag does have wheels on it, so that's that's nice and convenient too. I'm sure that feels like it'll go really easy. Probably be a little tricky once you get to the sand though. Okay, how does it feel? Good ish. It's just heavy on my shoulders. Now that I'm all done, I did notice there is an adjustment for the different pressures here. So there's a high volume, medium pressure, and high pressure. I had it on medium pressure the whole time, so if I would have switched that to three, probably would have made my life a little bit easier.